V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Students across our city celebrated big wins this spring during the Milwaukee Public Schools Spelling Bee Finals. We caught all the action for you so you can watch it again right here. Students in the third through eighth grade from 30 schools in the district competed. Each grade level had their own preliminary rounds and winner. You can see where everyone came from right on your screen. Let's start with a quick explanation of the rules. Now, each student comes up to the microphone and is given a word to spell. They must say the word, spell it, then say it again. And if they get it correct, they head back to their seat. If the students do get the word wrong, that's game over. Once there are only two students remaining on stage, we enter the elimination round. Now, if the student gets a word wrong, the other student gets a chance to spell it. If he misses, both students keep trying. But if the second student spells that word correctly, they have to spell one more word right to be crowned the winner. So let's get right to it with our third grade spellers. At this time, we will officially start the third grade spelling bee competition. Baby Montessori, please step up to the mic. The word is separate. During our science experiment, we observed that oil and water always separate when they are combined. Separate. Separate. S-E-P-A-R-A-T-E. -E. Separate. That is correct. The word is sphere, sphere. Can you name three things that are shaped like a sphere, excuse me, sphere, besides a ball or globe? Sphere. Spear, S-P-E-A-R, spear. Judges, that is incorrect. The word is spelled S-P-H-E-R-E, -E, sphere. Yeah. The word is average. What do you think is the average age most children learn to ride a bike? Average. A, B, A, R, G, E, average. Sorry, that is incorrect. The word is spelled A, V, E, R, A, G, E, average. The word is challenge. Most people feel a sense of pride when they are successful at accomplishing a challenge. Challenge. C H A L L E N G E. Challenge. That is correct. The word is oozing. Sap was slowly oozing from the maple tree. Oozing. O O Z I N G. Oozing. That is correct. Excuse me. The pronouncer. Remember to repeat the word after the sentence for the students so the students hear the word, the sentence, and then the word again so they know to begin. Okay, thank you, so sorry about that. All right, the word is drastic. There are drastic changes only made matters worse. Drastic. Drastic. D-R-A-S-T-I-C, drastic. The word is salamander. Did you know that a salamander is a nocturnal amphibian? Salamander. Salamander. S-A-L-A-M-A-N-D-E-R, salamander. That's correct. <laughs> the 
All right, the word is sequence. We replied to our emails in the sequence in which we received them. Sequence. Sequence. S E Q U E N C E sequence. That's correct. All right, the word is estimate. Estimate. Can, oh, e one second. Can, we, can you estimate how many jelly beans are in the one gallon container? Estimate. Estimate. E S T I M A T E. Estimate. The word is sword. The majestic eagle soared across the sky. Sword. Sword. S O A R E D. Sword. That's correct. Burlap. My grandparents stored the unshelled peanuts in a burlap sack. Burlap. Burlap. B I R L A P. Burlap. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, okay. The correct spelling is B-U-R-L-A-P, burlap. All right, the word is trombone. I wanted to learn how to play a trombone after seeing the marching band perform at the parade. Trombone. Trombone, T-R-O-M-B-O-N-E, trombone. That's correct. All right, the word is stapled. Each pack of papers will need to be stapled in the left-hand corner, stapled. Stapled, S-T-A-P-L-E-D, stapled. That's correct. Right, the word is arrangement. The flower arrangement, the floral arrangement, included roses and sunflowers. Arrangement. Arrangement. A-R-R-A-N-G-E-M-E-N-T. Arrangement. That's correct. Right. Festival. We carved pumpkins at the fall festival. Festival. Feet. No, sorry. F E A S T I V A L. Festival. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh. It's the correct spelling is F E S T I V A L. Festival. All right, the word is charcoal. We used pieces of charcoal for the snowman's eyes. Charcoal. Charcoal. C-H-A-R-C-O-L-E. Charcoal. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The spelling is C-H-A-R-C-O-A-L. Charcoal. <laughs> the word is faint. I began to feel faint after sitting in the hot sun for three hours. Faint. Faint. F-A-I-N-T. Faint. That's correct. All right. Environment. It is important for us to take care of the environment for present and future generations. Environment. Environment. E N. V I R O N M E N T. Environment. That's correct. All right, your word is bundle. William placed a bundle of newspapers in his wagon to deliver throughout the neighborhood. Bundle. Bundle. B U N D L E. Bundle. That's correct. All right, the word is woven. 
The sturdy woven baskets were used to store quilts and blankets at the end of winter. Woven. Woven. W-O-V-E-N. Woven. That's correct. Nutrients. Eating a variety of fruits and vegetables helps to ensure that you are eating healthy nutrients. 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 N U T R I E N T S. Nutrients. That is correct. <laughs> valuable. My parents taught me valuable lessons about being kind and fair. Valuable. Valuable. V A L U A B L E. Valuable. That is correct. Reminder. This note is just a gentle reminder to take out the garbage before 7 o'clock. Reminder. Reminder. R E M I N D E R. Reminder. That is correct. Tunnel. The clever chipmunks dug a tunnel from the back to the front of our home. Tunnel. Tunnel. T-U-N-N-E-L. Tunnel. That is correct. <laughs> numerals. We are learning how to read and write Roman numerals. Numerals. Now that we've gotten through the first rounds of third grade spellers, let's take a look at the next few rounds. Kiara Morgan had a tough miss on the word coordinate. Right, the word is coordinate. The triplets decided not to coordinate their outfits for picture day. Coordinate. Coordinate. C-O-O-R-D-A-T. Coordinate. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The spelling is C O O R. D-I-N-A-T-E, coordinate. Raymond Mitchell pulled through Strong spelling the word caused, twigs. Caused several small twigs to fall from the trees. Twigs. Twigs. T-W-I-G-S. Twigs. That's correct. <laughs> then another heartbreaking loss on the word dismissal. Exactly at 2.30 p.m. every afternoon. Dismissal. Dismissal. D-I-S-M-I-S-S-L-E. Dismissal. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The spelling is D-I-S-M-I-S-S-A-L. Despite some stiff competition, these students stayed brave and confident. The word is oxygen. Did you know that oxygen is in water and in the air? Oxygen. Oxygen. O-X-Y-G-E-N. Oxygen. That is correct. Appetite. I did not have a good appetite after catching a cold. Appetite. Appetite. A P T I T E, appetite. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is A P P E T I T E. You did a fabulous job. Thank you. Amtul Noor got up to the mic for the word luggage. Luggage off the conveyor belt. Luggage. Luggage. L U G G A G G A G E. That is incorrect. The correct spelling. And then there was a little confusion from the judges. G E. You did a fabulous job. Thank you so much. We would like to listen to that spelling again. We think she repeated. There was a little bit of a wait, and then the students got back on stage to try again. Luggage. L-U-G-G-A-G-E. Luggage.
the judges discuss. When we re-listened to her spelling the word, she spelled it L-U-G-G-A-G-G, -G -G, then stopped, then went back A-G-E. -E. So we, it was correct. Whoa, what a close call. After that, we saw students correctly spell dozens of tough words from porridge to cottage. Porridge, P-O-R-R-I-D-G-E, porridge. That is correct. The word is cottage. Cottage, C-O-T-T-A-G-E, cottage. But words like pedestal and assistance were a little trickier. Pedestal, P E D. A S T A L? That is incorrect. Obvious. Obvious. O B V I O S. Obvious. Sorry, the word is incorrect. Assistance. Your assistance will help the team to be successful. Assistance. Assistance. A S. S-I-T-A-N-C-E, assistance. That is incorrect. You did a fabulous job. Thank you so much. With this, we're down to our final two contestants. The word is extinct. Some species of animals are becoming extinct due to losing their natural habitats. Extinct. Extinct. We'll return with the thrilling conclusion of the third grade spelling bee finals right after this break. Welcome back to the Milwaukee Public Schools spelling bee finals. Before we find out who our third grade winner is, let's have a quick refresh on the rules for the championship rounds. If one of our final two students gets a word wrong, the other student gets a chance to spell it. If he misses, both students keep trying. But if the second student spells that word correctly, they'll have to spell one more word right to be crowned the winner. Now let's get into the championship rounds for the third grade spellers. Benjamin Keto will start us off with the word extinct. 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 E X T I N C T. Extinct. That is correct. <laughs> tricycle. Although I am older, I still like to ride my tricycle around the block after school. Tricycle. Tricycle. T R I C Y C L E. Tricycle. That is correct. <laughs> Population. The population in some communities has declined over the years due to a loss of jobs. Population. Population. P O P L U A T I O N. Population. That is incorrect. We are going to offer the word to your partner here. The word is population. I'm going to repeat it again in the sentence. The population in some communities has declined over the years due to a loss of jobs. The word is population. Population. P-O-P-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. Population. <laughs> that is correct. For the Spelling Bee Championship of third grade, I'm going to ask you to spell one more word. The word is unfamiliar. Some of the foods served at the buffet were, eating, were unfamiliar to me, but I was willing to try eating new things. Unfamiliar. Unfamiliar. U-N-F-A-M-I-L-I-A-R. Unfamiliar. <laughs> We have a third grade Spelling Bee champ for 2023.
We have our third place winner. Congratulations. Congratulations to winner Samadhi Henry from Lowell International Elementary. Here's a quick word from him and his parents. This was a great representation for the city of Milwaukee and all the hard work that the teachers and principals and parents have been doing. I've been practicing my words. I was happy. What a great group of kids, truly impressive spellers. Now let's see how impressive our fourth graders are. Your word is scribbling. At the age of two, my niece began scribbling words to write stories. Scribbling. Scribbling. S-C-R-I-B-B-L-I-N-G. Scribbling. That is correct. The word is hockey. Do you prefer to play field or ice hockey? Hockey. Hockey. H-O-C-K-Y, hockey. That is incorrect, I'm sorry. The correct spelling is H-O-C-K-E-Y. Thank you so much. The word is puzzle. It took Marcia and Manuel four hours to put the 500-piece puzzle together. Puzzle. Puzzle, P-U-Z-Z-L-E. That's puzzle. correct. The word is galaxy. The Milky Way is a galaxy that includes our solar system. Galaxy. Galaxy. G-A-L-A-X-A-Y. Galaxy. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is G-A-L-A-X-Y. Thank you so much. The word is signal. The signal lights on several, several streets were not working following the thunderstorm. Signal. Signal. S-I-G-N-A-L. Signal. That's correct. The word is badger. Wisconsin state animal is the badger. 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 B A D G. E R That's Badger. correct. Yep. The word is decorations. Our family has a large collection of decorations for almost every holiday. Decorations. Decorations. D E C O R A T I O N S. Decorations. That's correct. The word is sleeve. I rolled up my sleeve of my shirt so that it would not get wet when I checked the temperature of the water with my elbow. Sleeve. Sleeve. S-L-E-A-V-E. -E. Sleeve. That's incorrect. I'm sorry. The correct spelling is S-L-E-E-V-E. -E -E. The word is citizen. I am a proud citizen of the United States of America. Citizen. Citizen. C-I-T-I-Z-E-N. Citizen. That's correct. The word is dairy. 
After, touching the dairy, after touring the dairy farm, we were served a variety of delicious foods and beverages produced by cows and goats. Dairy. Dairy. D-A-I-R-Y. Dairy. That's correct. Accurate. Please check the clock to make sure that the time is accurate. 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 A C C U R A T E. That's correct. Yep. Don't forget to say the word after too. <laughs> You're so close. Accurate. That's correct. <laughs> Quietly. I quietly close the door to avoid waking the baby. Quietly. Quietly. Q U I E T L Y. Quietly. That's correct. <laughs> periscope. The captain raised the submarine's periscope to get a better view of what was on the surface of the water. Periscope. Periscope. P E R I. S-C-O-P-E, Periscope. That's correct. <laughs> nitrogen. Almost 80% of Earth's atmosphere is made of a nitrogen gas. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. N-I-T-R-O-G-E-N, Nitrogen. That's correct. <laughs> Gopher. Did you know that a gopher can use its four-inch tail to navigate its way backward through a tunnel? Gopher. Gopher. G-O-P-H-E-R. Gopher. That's correct. <laughs> sturdy. We packed the fragile dishes into a sturdy box. Sturdy. Sturdy. S T U. R D Y sturdy. That's correct. <laughs> mustard. I added yellow mustard, ketchup, and sweet pickle relish to my hot dog. Mustard. Mustard. M U S T A R D. Mustard. That's correct. <laughs> cheddar. My favorite snack is cheddar cheese and apple slices. Cheddar. Cheddar. C H E D D A R. Cheddar. That's correct. <laughs> migration. The migration of monarch butter butterflies every fall to Southern California or Central Mexico is a beautiful sight to see. Migration. Migration. M I G R A T I O N. Migration. That's correct. Pavement. It becomes so hot in some areas of the country that you can see the heat rising from the pavement. 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 P-A-V-E-M-E-N-T. Pavement. That's correct. Now that every student has had a chance to spell one word, let's see how those middle rounds went. Some of the words were really hard. Students were eliminated on words like stutter. Stutter when they are nervous or if they begin to read too fast. Stutter. Stutter. S T U D D U R. Stutter. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-T-U-T-T-E-R. You are fabulous. Thank you so much for participating. Somersault. The gymnast made doing a backward somersault look easy. Somersault. Somersault. S-U-M-M-E-R-S-A-U-L-T. Somersault. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-O-M-E-R-S-A-U-L-T. And specialty. The restaurant's specialty is deep dish pizza. Specialty. Specialty. S-P-E-C-I-A-L-I-T-Y. Specialty. 
I'm sorry, that's incorrect. But despite those tough losses, there were plenty of impressive wins. Some spellers couldn't even wait to get started. And my vocabulary. Definition. D E F I N I T I O N. Definition. That is correct. Students also correctly spelled muscles. Muscles. Because I did not do my regular warm-up routine, my muscles began to spasm after I had been swimming in the pool for 30 minutes. Muscles. Muscles. M-U-S-C-L-E-S. -E muscles. That is correct. Faucet. Faucet. We replaced the old kitchen faucet with a newer model that could help reduce our water bill. Faucet. Faucet. F A U. C E T Fossil. That is correct. Excellent. And this was really impressive. Check out Aiden Polivka rattle off metamorphosis. 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 M E T A M O R P H O S I S. Metamorphosis. That is correct. It was a heartbreaking loss to get to our final two spellers. Henry Kung couldn't get past Colonel. Colonel. The colonel was responsible for thousands of soldiers in his division. Colonel. Can you repeat the word again? Colonel. K-U-R-N-A-L. Sorry, that's incorrect. The correct spelling is C-O-L-O-N-E-L. Thank you so much, you did great. And with that, we are down to our final two spellers. We'll be back with the winner of the fourth grade round after the break. May I please have a definition? Back to the Milwaukee Public Schools Spelling Bee Finals. We're about to find out who our fourth grade winner will be. Let's get straight to the action. The word is bleary. My vision became bleary after working on the computer for eight hours. Bleary. Can you please restate the word? Bleary. Bleering. B-L-E-E-R-I-N-G. Bleering. Sorry, that is incorrect. Blurry. B-L-U-R-R-Y. Blurry. That is incorrect. The word is spelled B-L-E-A-R-Y. The round continues. The word is although. Although my car is 10 years old, it still runs well. Although. Although. A-L-T-H-O-U-G-H. Although. That is correct. Eyelashes. Our eyelashes help to protect our cornea from small objects that could cause injury. Injury. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. E Y E L A S H E S. Eyelashes. That is correct. <laughs> admissible. The judge said that the testimony was admissible. Admissible. May I please have a definition? Admissible. Capable of being allowed or conceded. Permissible. Permissible. P. No, nope, that's not. That's oh. the, the word is admissible. 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 A D M I S S A B L E. Admissible. That's incorrect. So I'll let you go for it now. What's the word again? The word is admissible. The judge said the testimony was admissible. 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 A D M I S T A B L E. Admissible. 
That is also incorrect. The correct spelling is A-D-M-I-S-S-I-B-L-E. So we're going to keep going. You guys are doing great. <laughs> chalice. The princess took only a sip of water from the golden chalice. 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 C H A L A C E. Chalice. That's incorrect. What's the word again? Chalice. The princess took only a sip of water from the golden chalice. 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 C H I L E S. Chalice. That's incorrect. It, the correct spelling is C H A L I C E. Audible. Your conversation is sometimes audible through the thin walls. Audible. Audible. A-U-D-I-B-L-E, audible. That's correct. <laughs> coarse. Some chefs use coarse salt, such as sea salt, in their recipes because it is more flavorful. Coarse. Coarse. C-O-U-R-S-E, coarse. That's incorrect. Chorus. C O A R S E. Chorus. That's correct. And we're going to spell yeah. one more, though. <laughs> you got to do one more. Sugary. Eating too many sugary snacks can cause unwanted cavities. Sugary. Sugary. S U G A R Y sugary. That's correct. Yes. Good job, everybody. That was great. We will now present the trophies for third place. The school is Humble Park. That's Henry. There you go. And second place is going to be Fairview School. That's going to be Dahlia. And first place, Lowell Elementary with our good spelling. What an exciting round. Congratulations to winner Aiden Polivka from Lowell International Elementary. For him, having fun was just as important as winning. My gym teacher always says, if you had fun, you won. Every time I think I'm done being impressed with these students, they have more to show. With that being said, let's get straight to our fifth grade spellers. Your word is opinion. Sometimes it is difficult to tell whether people are stating a fact or an opinion. 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 O-P-I-N-I-O-N. -I -I opinion. That is correct. Leather. I love to wear my grandfather's leather apple cap from the 70s. Leather. Leather. L-E-A-T-H-E-R. Leather. Fumes. We could smell the fumes from the car's exhaust all the way down the block. Fumes. Fumes. F-U-M-E-S. Fumes. Correct. Question. I asked only one question after listening carefully to the teacher's directions. Question. Question. Q U E S T I O N. Question. Correct. Beagle. I love beagle dogs because they are loyal, funny, easygoing, and friendly. Beagle. Beagle. B E A G L E, Beagle. Correct. Swollen. My arm immediately became swollen after I was stung by a wasp. Swollen. Swollen. S W O L E N. That swollen. Is, that is incorrect. It is with two L's, S-W-O-L-L-E-N. 
Good job. Kettle. We used our great-grandparents' old kettle to fry the catfish for the family reunion. Kettle. Kettle. K-E-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. Kettle. Correct. <laughs> confetti. The winning team members were greeted with a shower of colorful confetti as they drove down Wisconsin Avenue. Confetti. Confetti. C-O-N-F-E-T-T-I. Confetti. Correct. <laughs> bravery. The children showed great bravery before, during, and after the hurricane. Bravery. Bravery. B-R-A-V-E-R-Y. Bravery. Correct. Lizards. Our pet lizards like to sit on the windowsill on sunny days. Lizards. Can you repeat the word again? Lizards. Lizards. L-I-Z-A-R-D-S. Lizards. Correct. <laughs> flannel. My favorite pair of flannel pajamas is decorated with balloons. Flannel. Flannel. F L A. N N E L. Flannel. Correct. <laughs> ecology. At the Ecology Center, we plant flowers that will attract honeybees and other insect pollinators. Ecology. Ecology, E C O L O G Y, ecology. Correct. Blazer. The school greeter wore a green and blue blazer with the school's logo on the pocket. Blazer. Blazer. B-L-A-Z-E-R, blazer. Correct. Wine. The toddler would begin to whine close to nap time. Wine. Wine. W-H-I-N-E, wine. Correct. <laughs> Drowsy. Because the room was too warm, I began to feel drowsy. 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 D-R-O-W-S-Y. Drowsy. Correct. <laughs> pedestrian. It is hoped that the walkway with flashing lights will help increase pedestrian safety. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. P-E-D-E-S-T-R-I-A-N, pedestrian. Correct. Feta. Crumbled feta cheese was sprinkled on the spinach salad. Feta. Feta. F-E-T-A, feta. Correct. Caravan. A caravan of trucks, floats, and automobiles participate in the parade. Caravan. Can you say that again, please? Caravan. Caravan. C-A-R-V-A-N. Caravan. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It is spelled C-A-R-A-V-A-N. Hectic. Mornings are hectic because we all are trying to eat breakfast and leave the house by 7 o'clock. Hectic. Hectic. H-E-C-T-I-C. -E hectic. That is correct. <clears throat> juvenile. The juvenile polar bears were not as playful as the polar bear cubs. Juvenile. K -U J U V. 
E N I L E. Juvenile. That is correct. <laughs> diagram. The guest speaker shared with us that a diagram of the circulatory system inspired them to become family physicians. Diagram. Diagram. D I A G R A M. Diagram. That is correct. <laughs> The word is demonstrate. We were prepared to demonstrate at the science fair how our robot worked. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. D-E-M-O-N-S-T-R-A-T-E. -E. Demonstrate. That is correct. Microphone. The volume and height of the microphone had to be adjusted for each speaker. Microphone. Microphone. M I. C R O P H O N E microphone. That is correct. Spearhead. Our class agreed to spearhead the food drive. Spearhead. Spearhead. S P E A R H E A D. Spearhead. That is correct. Precautions. The mountain climbers explain they are always taking extra precautions before and during their trips to Mount Everest. Precautions. P-R-E-C-A-U-T-I-O-N-S. Precautions. Correct. Crescent. The crescent shape of the moon has inspired poems, stories, and even the shape of some baked goods. Crescent. Crescent, C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T, Crescent. That is correct. Cameo, a popular singing group made a cameo appearance in the movie. Cameo. Cameo, C-A-M-E-O, Cameo. That is correct. Litter. The Neighborhood Block Club voted to have a community litter cleanup every weekend. Litter. Litter. L-I-T-T-E-R. Litter. That is correct. <laughs> edible. Some mushrooms are not edible. 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 E-D-I-B-L-E. Edible. That is correct. Thimble. The thimble on my thumb prevented the needle from sticking me as I sewed the button onto my shirt. Thimble. Thimble. T-H-I-M-B-L-E. Thimble. That is correct. <laughs> rotunda. At the end of our tour of the state capitol, we met in the rotunda to take a group picture. Rotunda. Rotunda, R-O-T-U-N-D-A, Rotunda. That is correct. Let's remember to speak loudly, clearly into the mics, please. Your word is thorax. Although all insects have a head, thorax, and abdomen, all insects do not have wings. Thorax. Thorax. T H O R A X, thorax. That is correct. <laughs> inferno. The fire in the old warehouse quickly became a towering inferno of flames. Inferno. Inferno. I N F E R N O, inferno. That is correct. Ravioli. My cousin, who is a chef, taught me how to make homemade cheese stuffed ravioli. 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 R A V I O L I. Ravioli. That is correct. Gourmet. 
The extra large gourmet cookies were filled with nuts, chocolate chips, and pieces of toffee. Gourmet. Gourmet. G O U R M E T. Gourmet. That is correct. The source. A thesaurus includes synonyms and antonyms for thousands of words. The source. Thesaurus. T H E. Every fifth grader had a chance to spell at least one word. Now let's see who's eliminated in those middle rounds and who made it to the championships. The These students time, really spelled their hearts out, getting so many difficult bark. words correct, disembark. like disembark. Disembark. D-I-S-E-M-B-A-R-K. Disembark. Correct. Museum. Museum. M-U-S-E-U-M. Museum. Correct. And ravioli. My cousin, who is a chef, taught me how to make homemade cheese-stuffed ravioli. 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 R. A V I O L I ravioli. That is correct. But no one can get everything correct. We Kennedy Holton missed embers. embers. And covered them with dirt to ensure they would not reignite. Embers. Embers. E M B A R S. Embers. I'm sorry that is not correct. It is E M B E R S. And finale. The cast took a bow following the finale of the play. Finale. Finale. F-I-N-A-L-Y. Finale. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is F-I-N-A-L-E. Thank you. You are fabulous. And check out this nail biter over the word khaki. Our school uniform included khaki pants and a yellow shirt. Khaki. Wait, can you say the word again? Khaki. Khaki? Khaki. Um, do you define the word, please? Khaki, noun. A garment of khaki-colored cloth, especially a military uniform. A light yellowish brown that is yellower and duller than walnut brown. Khaki, C-A-C-K, I mean, no, uh, wait. C A C C A C K Y khaki. Sorry, that's incorrect. The correct spelling is K H A K I khaki. And with that heartbreaking loss for Walter Baker, we head into the championship rounds. We'll be right back to name our fifth grade winner. Welcome back to the Spelling Bee Finals. We are down to our final two spellers, Ariel Harris and Ben Dames. Let's see how they're doing. Equator. The Earth is widest at its equator, which is halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. Equator. Equator. E Q U A T O R. Equator. That is correct. Floss. Remember to floss your teeth after eating. Floss. Floss. F-L-O-S-S. -S. Floss. That is correct. <laughs> international. The international flags at our school represent the diversity of the students who attend our school. International. International. I-N-T-E-R. N-A-T-I, 
O N A L, International. That is correct. <laughs> anniversary. The neighborhood store will celebrate its 25th anniversary on Saturday. Anniversary. Anniversary. A N N I V E R S A R Y. Anniversary. That is correct. Fluorescent. The fluorescent lights made the room appear to be extra bright. Fluorescent. Fluorescent. F L O U R S C E N T. Fluorescent. That is incorrect. The word is fluorescent. Fluorescent. F L U O R E S C E N T. Fluorescent. That is correct. You have to spell the next word to be declared the winner. The word is magnolia. I love to watch the magnolia tree in our front yard bloom in spring. Magnolia. Magnolia. M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A. -A. Magnolia. You are correct. You are the winner. Place Allison from Milwaukee Parkside School of the Arts. Second place, Ben from Milwaukee German Immersion. What a thrilling competition. These kids really can spell. Congratulations to Ariel Harris of 95th Street School. Here's what she and her parents had to say about all the excitement. Very nervous because she was in it last year and she placed second place and I know how devastated she was. And we worked really hard for the last few months for this moment. Every morning, every afternoon and before bed. For months. Work harder and you'll be able to reach for the stars. These students really are out of this world. Let's see how talented our sixth grade spellers are. All right, our first word is liquid. We carefully pour the liquid ingredients into the mixing bowl. Liquid. L-U-Q-U-I-D, liquid. That is incorrect. Oh my God. That's okay, let's give them a round of applause. Liquid. L-I-Q-U-I-D, liquid. All right. Okay, remember to say the word, spell the word, and, you, and say the word again. Your word is shelter. Because of the fast approaching storm, we immediately sought shelter in the lowest levels of the school building. Shelter. Shelter, S-H-E-L-T-E-R, shelter. That is correct. Your word is profit. The profit from the cookie sales enabled us to reach our goal of $5,000. Profit. Profit. P-R-O-F-I-T. Profit. That is correct. <laughs> right? Committee. The student committee voted to meet quarterly instead of monthly because of their busy schedules. Committee. Committee. C O M M U I T Y community. That is incorrect. Committee. C-O-M-M-I-T-T-E-E. -E. Committee. All right, your word is breed. Do you know what breed of dog is best for people? Breed. Breed. B-R-E-E-D. Breed. 
That is correct. <laughs> lemonade. We added sliced strawberries to the pitcher of lemonade. 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 <clears throat> lemonade. L E M O N A D E. Lemonade. That is correct. <laughs> Shelves. All of the shelves in the store were filled with items on sale for 70% off the original sticker price. Shelves. S H E L V E S. That is correct. But you have to wait one second, though. The judges are looking at me. Shelves. Thank you. Remember to say the word, spell the word, say the word. All right. <laughs> drifting. The baby was slowly drifting off to sleep. Drifting. Drifting. D R I F T I N G. Drifting. That is correct. Good morning. Continuing on. Our next word is collage. We used a variety of materials to give a three-dimensional look to our collage. Collage. C-O-L-L-A-G-E. Collage. That is correct. The next word is shingles. Several shingles on the roof will need to be replaced. Shingles. Shingles. S-H-I-N-G-L-E-S. -E shingles. That is correct. Thank you. Your next word is altitude. Your attitude, your altitude, means that thinking positively affects how you will achieve your dreams. Altitude. Altitude. A L T I T U D E. Altitude. That is correct. <laughs> flotation. We were required to wear a flotation device while riding in the canoe. Flotation. Flotation. F L O A T A. T I O N, flotation. That is correct. Our next word is compartment. The tote bag has a compartment for my laptop. Compartment. Compartment. C O M P A R T M E N. T, compartment. That is correct. <laughs> Spell material. At the fabric, I selected the last piece of material that I needed to finish sewing my outfit. Material. Material. M A T E R I L A. Material. That is incorrect. Material is spelled M A T E R I A L. Thank you so much. Our next word is twinkled. The stars twinkled brighter away from the lights in the city. Twinkled. Twinkled. T W I N. K-L-E-D, twinkle. That is correct, thank you. The next word is sweeten. I added a teaspoon of honey to sweeten my hot tea. Sweeten, S-W-E-E-T-E-N. S-W-E-E-T-I-N, sweeten. 
That is incorrect. You had it right the first time, which is S-W-E-E-T-E-N. Thank you. Our next word is brought. My cat brought home many unusual things about roaming throughout the neighborhood. Brought. Brought. B R O U G H T. Brought. That is correct. Thank you. <laughs> Our next word is umbrella. On extremely hot and sunny days, in addition to sunscreen, I use an umbrella to shield myself from harmful ultraviolet light. Umbrella. Umbrella. U-M-B-R-E-L-L-A. Umbrella. That is correct. Thank you. <laughs> the next word is crate. Having handles on the crate made it much easier to carry to the van. Crate. Crate. C-R-A-T-E. Crate. That is correct. Thank you. <laughs> the next word is knuckles. My knuckles felt sore after I clenched the metal bar too tightly during the tilt-a-whirl ride. Knuckles. Knuckles. K-N-U-C-K-L-E-S. Knuckles. That's correct. Thank you. The next word is artificial. The grape juice contained no artificial sweeteners. Artificial. Artificial. A-R-T-I-F-I-C-I-A-L. Artificial. That is correct. The next word is thread. It took me three minutes to insert and pull the thread through the eye of the needle. Thread. Thread. T-H-R-E-A-D. Thread. That is correct. Thank you. <laughs> souvenir. We each could select one souvenir to bring back home at the end of our vacation. Souvenir. Souvenir. S O U V E N I R souvenir. That is correct. <laughs> the next word is buckle. The children were required to buckle their seat belts as soon as they were seated in the van. Buckle. Buckle. B U C K L E. Buckle. That is correct. Thank you. Your word is ferret. Our ferret is a curious, energetic, and friendly family pet. Ferret. Ferret. F E R R E T. Ferret. That is correct. Thank you. Our next word is manager. My older brother was excited to share that he had been promoted to the position of manager at work. Manager. Manager. M-A-N-A-G-E-R. Manager. That is correct. Your word is president. The president of the company was very visible and engaged in the community. President. President. P. R E S I D E N T. President. That's correct. Your word is referee. A referee must be observant and fair toward all athletes. Referee. Referee. R E F E. E R E E, referee. That is correct. Thank you. The next word is chamber. 
The attorneys were called into the judge's chamber to further discuss the case. Chamber. Chamber. C-H-A-M-B-E-R. Chamber. That is correct. The next word is oxygen. Getting enough oxygen is important for almost all living things. Oxygen. Oxygen. O-X-E-G-Y-N. Oxygen. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is O-X-Y-G-E-N. Oxygen. Thank you. Now that all of our sixth graders have had a chance to spell some words, let's check Next out the highlights of those this. middle rounds. There were definitely some tough words. Word Valida Chang spelled ukuleles. At the school assembly, our ensemble tuned our ukuleles and began to play for the audience. Ukuleles. Ukuleles. U k e l e l e s. Ukuleles. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is u k u l e l e s. Thank you. Deciduous. The bright and vibrant colors of the deciduous trees attracted a large number of visitors to the Kettle Moraine area every autumn. Deciduous. Deciduous. D E C I D O U S. Deciduous. That is incorrect. It is D E C I D U O U S. Deciduous. And accelerator. Accelerator. A C C E L A R A T O R. Accelerator. That is incorrect. But these students did not lose heart and they kept up the good work. They correctly spelled a lot of tough words, like Thaliana Urban with rhombus. The word is rhombus. The shape of a rhombus can be seen in some kites, diamonds, or floor tiles. Rhombus. Rhombus. R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Rhombus. That is correct. Median. Median. Crossing the street at the median instead of the crosswalk was causing an uptick in accidents. Median. Median. M E D. I-A-N, median. That is correct. And championship. After winning the championship game, the team celebrated by having a pizza party with former members of the team. Championship. Championship. C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N-S-H-I-P, championship. That is correct. And those are the skills needed to make it to the championship round. We're down to our last two spellers. We'll see who the winner is after the break. Back to the Milwaukee Public Schools Spelling Bee Finals. Before we find out who our sixth grade winner is, let's have a quick refresh on the rules for championship rounds. If one of our final two contestants gets a word wrong, the other student gets a chance to spell it. If he misses, both students keep trying. But if the second student spells that word correctly, they'll have to spell one more word right to be crowned the winner. Now let's get straight to our final two spellers, Thaliana Urban and Joshua Bawazak. Your word is numb. My fingers and toes began to feel numb while waiting in the cold for the bus to arrive. Numb. Numb. N-U-M-B. Numb. That is correct. Hey, your word. Deluxe. I ordered the deluxe cheeseburger with fries for lunch. Deluxe. Deluxe. D-E. D-E-L-U-X-E. Deluxe. That is correct. Asparagus. The restaurant makes excellent cream of asparagus soup. Asparagus. Asparagus. A-S-P-A-R-A-G-U-S. Asparagus. That is correct. Turquoise. The silver necklace included a beautiful turquoise stone. Turquoise. Turquoise. T 
turquoise. T U R Q O I S E, turquoise. That is incorrect. So that goes to the next contestant. You stay right there. Turquoise. The silver necklace included a beautiful turquoise stone. Turquoise. Turquoise. T U R. Q-U-O-I-S-E. That is correct. All right. According to our rules, you also have to spell this next word. Solar. My aunt and uncle who live in Tampa, Florida, use solar panels to heat their home. Solar. Solar. S-O-L-A-R. Solar. That is correct. <laughs> All right, I see. Yeah. We have an official winner. And I see Jennifer Mims Howe coming up. <laughs> Grabbing a trophy because we have an official winner. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> and, we'll up. and our runner up, too. Let's give them a round of applause. Our sixth graders know a lot. Third place, Zoe from Maryland Avenue. Second place, Joshua from Wedgwood Park. I'm sorry. Our first place winner for the sixth grade spelling bee final is Liliana from Milwaukee Park High School of the Arts. Amazing work for these three spellers. It's so fun to watch them face off. Congratulations, especially to our winner, Faliana Urban of Milwaukee Parkside School for the Arts. Here's what she had to say about her big win. What are you going to do with your trophy? Um, put it in my mom's room. <laughs> I was nervous, oh yes, for a couple of words. I'm like, oh my God, I am very proud of her. She worked really, really hard. And we've seen the wonderful ways hard work pays off. Sixth graders aren't the only ones working hard. Let's see how our seventh graders are doing. We are officially beginning the official seventh grade spelling bee, district-wide spelling bee. So our first student will be Alba again, and the person next to them. Come on up to the exit. All right, first student from Alba, please step up to the mic. Your word is bruise. It took several months for the large bruise on my arm to heal. Bruise. Bruise. B-R-U-I-S-E. Bruise. That is correct. <laughs> trembled. Many of the passengers trembled as the airplane experienced turbulence for 20 minutes during its flight over the Atlantic Ocean. Trembled. Trembled. T R E M E L E D trembled. That is correct. Tremble, but you gotta make sure you say it into the mic next time, okay? Be loud. It's okay to be loud this time. All right, your word. Slippery. The salamander skin felt smooth and slippery when I held the little animal in my hands. Slippery. Slippery. S L I P P E R Y. Slippery. That is correct. <laughs> detergent. Because of our sensitive skin, our family uses only fragrance-free detergent to prevent having an allergic reaction. Detergent. Detergent. D-E-T-R-G-E-N-T. -E -E detergent. That is incorrect. Detergent is D-E-T-E-R-G-E-N-T. -E -E detergent. All right, your word is planets. Because of the tilt of their orbits, the planets will never come into perfect alignment. Planets. Planets. P-L-A-N-E-T-S. Planets. That is correct. Creaking. 
We could never sneak into the kitchen to get a midnight snack because of the creaking floor. Creaking. Creaking. C R. E E K I N G. That is incorrect. Creaking. I'm sorry. Creaking. C R E A K I N G. Creaking. <laughs> humidify. We begin to boil water to help humidify the air, the dry air in the house. Humidify. Humidify, H-U-M-I-D-I-F-Y, humidify. That is correct. <laughs> determination, it was because of the teamwork and sheer determination that they won the relay race. Determination. Determination, D-E-T-E-R-M-I-N-A. T-I-O-N, determination. That is correct. <laughs> persuasive. My persuasive speech topic was, should all students be required to learn how to play an instrument in school? Persuasive. Persuasive. P-E-R-S-U-A-S-I-V-E. -E. Persuasive. That is correct. Grateful. I was grateful that we were given a one-week extension to complete our social studies project. Grateful. Grateful. G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. Grateful. That is correct. Good morning, everyone. Our next word, scenery. The autumn scenery throughout this state is breathtaking. Scenery. Scenery, S-C-E-N-E-R-Y, scenery. That is correct. Our next word, ancestors. During our annual family reunions, I learned inspiring things about my ancestors. Ancestors. Ancestors, A-N-C-E-S-T-O-R-S, -E ancestors. That is correct. Don't forget to step and speak loudly into the mic. Our next word, miraculous. After being abandoned in frigid temperatures, the kittens made a miraculous recovery. Miraculous. Miraculous, M-I-R-A-C-U-L. O U S, miraculous. That is correct. <laughs> slithering. I became fascinated as I watched the den of slithering baby snakes at wildlife preserves. Slithering. 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 S L I T H E R I N G. Slithering. That is correct. <laughs> Squint. Although I was wearing a cap with a visor, the bright sunlight caused me to squint. Squint, S-Q-U-I-N-T, squint. That is correct. <laughs> promotion. After years of outstanding work, my uncle will receive a promotion to the position of vice president within the company. Promotion. Promotion, P R O. M-O-T-I-O-N, promotion. That is correct. Stilts. Remarkably, the performers danced while wearing stilts. Stilts, S-T-I-L-T-S, -S, stilts. That is correct. Now that the seventh grade spellers have had a chance at at least one word, let's see how those middle rounds went. Truly impressive to see all the words these kids can spell. Check out Thea Ahmad Nail Resolution. Resolution. After discussing the problem faced by the main character, we carefully reread the story to discuss the resolution. 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 
R E S O L U T I O N. Resolution. That is correct. But other words were a lot more challenging. Students got hung up on words like defense. A squirrel's main defense mechanism is to be constantly aware of its surroundings. Defense. Defense. D E F E N C E. Defense. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. The next word is bicyclists. Bicyclists. B I C Y L I S T S. Bicyclists. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. Right. The next word is spectators. Spectators. S P E C T A T E R S. Spectators. That's incorrect. Sorry. But Salmaya the Parfeet brought it home with the correct spelling on relinquish. The next word is relinquish. Relinquish. R E L I N Q U I S H. Relinquish. That is correct. Now we're down to the last two spellers. We'll see who takes home the seventh grade trophy right after the break. Welcome back to the Milwaukee Public Schools Spelling Bee Finals. We are nearing the end with our seventh grade finalists. Let's see how Thea Ahmad and Lair B2 are doing. Our next word, brilliant. The brilliant responses and positive energy lit up the stage. Brilliant. Brilliant. B-R-I-L-L-I-A-N-T. Brilliant. That is correct. The next word is biscotti. I like to dunk my biscotti in hot chocolate before eating it. Biscotti. Biscotti. B-I-S-C-O-T-T-I. -T -T biscotti. That is correct. The next word is fowl. A rooster or hen can also be called a fowl. 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 F O U L. Fowl. Sorry, that is incorrect. You'll have a chance to spell it. Fowl. F O W L. Fowl. That is correct. So you'll, so you'll take the next word again. The next word is rummage. We found some amazing paintings at the rummage sale. Rummage. R-U-M-M-A-G-E. Rummage. That is correct. Congratulations. You both did a great job. Congratulations. Third place from Wedgwood is Somi. Uh, Mary McLeod Bethune, La. First place winner for seventh grade, Maryland Avenue, Thea. Another exciting round. These students are truly hardworking and smart. Congratulations to champion Thea Ahmad of Maryland Avenue Montessori School. Here's a quick word from her on her big win. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of a ball of nervous energy. I'm happy. Yeah. 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 She doesn't get it from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure these spellers get a lot of their smarts from their families and, of course, their teachers and school staff who all work so hard to educate our young people. Let's see how that hard work is paying off with our final rounds, the eighth grade spellers. Avocado. An avocado has many important nutrients such as potassium, fiber, and monstrate-saturated fat. Avocado. Avocado. A V O C A D O. Avocado. That is correct. Grazing. 
It was very calming to watch the cows grazing in the field. Grazing. Grazing. G-R-A-Z-I-N-G. Grazing. That is correct. <laughs> volunteer. My father serves as a volunteer at the food pantry two days a week. Volunteer. Volunteer. V O L U N T E E R. Volunteer. That is correct. <laughs> custom. It is the custom in some families that the oldest members eat first. Custom. Custom. C U S T O M. Custom. That is correct. Random. The students were selected at random to answer questions during the pop quiz. Random. Random. R-A-N-D-O-M. Random. That is correct. Ostrich. An ostrich can sprint up to 43 miles per hour and run up to 37 miles per hour. Ostrich. Ostrich. O-S-T-R-I-C-H. Ostrich. That is correct. <laughs> cruise. We went on a cruise to Australia for our vacation. Cruise. Cruise. C-R-U-I-S-E. Cruise. That is correct. <laughs> arid. The arid desert was home to many species of animals, including snakes, camels, and tortoises. Arid. Arid. A-R-I-D. Arid. That is correct. <laughs> nervous. As the contestants prepared to perform on stage, you could hear their nervous chatter in the wings. Nervous. Nervous. N-E-R-V-O-U-S. Nervous. That is correct. Kapok. Fibers from hairs covering the seeds of the Kapok tree were used to stuff the teddy bears. Kapok. Kapok. K A P O K. Kapok. That is correct. <laughs> tribute. The children read a beautiful tribute to their parents as an anniversary gift. Tribute. Tribute. T R I T U. B E. Tribute. That is incorrect. Tribute. T R I B U T E. Tribute. Sorry. Acquired. They had acquired many things except happiness. Acquired. Acquired. A C Q U I R E D. Acquired. That is correct. Fuchsia. When I want to look extra special, I wear the color fuchsia. 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 F-U-C-H-S-I-A. Fuchsia. That is correct. The eighth graders had a small field of competitors, so we're already down to just three spellers. Let's see how Gaithan Anderson does on the word Coliseum. Coliseum. Several sports and entertainment events are held in the Coliseum. 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 C O L O S S I U M. Coliseum. That is incorrect. Coliseum. S, I'm sorry, C O L I S E U M. Coliseum. Sorry. A tough loss for Gaithan, but we're now down to our final two eighth grade spellers. We're going to tell you who took home the hardware right after the break. Welcome back. We are in the last round of the Milwaukee Public School Spelling Bee Finals. We're down to just two eighth grade students, Eku Supa and Peace Peter. Let's see how they do. Oblivious. The campers were oblivious to snakes that had slithered into their tents. Oblivious. Oblivious. O-B-L-I-V-I-O-U-S. Oblivious. 
That is correct. <laughs> binoculars. The binoculars helped us to see insects and birds we had never seen before in the backyard. Binoculars. Can I get the definition? Binocular, noun, optical instrument, a handheld optical instrument composed of two telescopes and a focusing device, and usually having prisms to increase magnifying ability. Binoculars, B I N O C U L. A-R-S, binoculars. That is correct. Indecipherable. When I write too fast, my handwriting is indecipherable. Can you repeat the word, please? Indecipherable. May, you, may I have the definition of the word, please? Indecipherable, adjective, that cannot be deciphered. Indecipherable, I-N-D-E-C-Y-P-H-E-R-A-B-L-E, -E. indecipherable. That is incorrect. So our next person should walk up to the mic. Let me say the word again and use it in a sentence. Indecipherable. When I write too fast, my handwriting is indecipherable. Indecipherable. I-N-D-E-C-I-P-H-E-R-A-B-L-E. -E. Indecipherable. That is correct. Now you must spell the very next word. Fatigued. The track team was fatigued after practicing all afternoon. Fatigued. Fatigue. F-A-T-I-G-U-E. Fatigue. That is incorrect. It was fatigued. Sorry. You need to spell fatigued. Let me use it in a sentence. The track team was fatigued after practicing all afternoon. Fatigued. Fatigue. F-A-T-I-Q-U-E. Fatigue. That is incorrect. So we will keep going. Should I spell fatigued? All right. F-A-T-I-G-U-E-D. Fatigued. Cubicle. My office cubicle was filled with family pictures. Cubicle. Can I get the definition? Cubicle, noun, a sleeping compartment partitioned off from a large room. A small room or compartment, often approximately square in plan. Cubicle, C U B I. C U L. Cubicle. That is incorrect. You must spell cubicle. My office cubicle was filled with family pictures. Cubicle. Cubicle. C U B A C L E. Cubicle. That is incorrect. Cubicle. C U B I C L E. Cubicle. Uranium. The scientists handled the uranium carefully because it is radioactive. Uranium. Uranium. U R A N I U M. Uranium. That is correct. Heredity. Because of my heredity, I have hazel eyes. Heredity. Heredity. H-E-R-E-D-I-T-Y, heredity. 
That is correct. <laughs> waiver. We asked a lawyer to review the waiver to ensure that each person would be treated fairly. Waiver. Waiver. W-A-V-E-R, waiver. That is incorrect. Now you must spell waiver. May I have the definition of the word, please? Waiver, noun, the act of waiving or intentionally relinquishing or abandoning a known right, claim, or privilege. Waiver, W-A-I-V-E-R, waiver. That is correct. Now you must spell this next word, ecstatic. The fans became ecstatic when their team won the Super Bowl. Ecstatic. May you repeat the word, please? Ecstatic. May I have the definition of the word, please? Ecstatic, adjective, of or relating to ecstasy. Ecstatic, E-C-S-T-A-T-I-C, -E -C -T -T ecstatic. That is correct. Do we have a winner? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Congratulations on the eighth grade round. Our third place winner, Galen, sorry, Gathan representing Wedgwood Park. Our second place winner, representing Manitoba, is Ikuso. And the first place winner for the eighth grade spelling bee held here at Harold Vinson High School representing Humboldt Park, Keith Peter. Does that make it a little bit more difficult? Um, I guess kind of in a way, yeah. Yeah. With the pronunciation and, um, yeah, prefixes, suffixes. Yeah. A, a bit difficult, but um, not as much, though. Does they, that help them as well? Uh, yes, yeah. with their pronunciation as well and uh, understanding in new vocabularies. Wow. I'd like to thank the parents and the teachers who spent tireless hours making sure these students had an opportunity to compete today. Thank you for all you do. What an amazing group of people and an amazing group of spellers. Congratulations to everyone who won and everyone who competed. You're all better for having learned something new and for working hard toward a goal. Of course, we can't have all these smart winners without dedicated, caring adults behind them. So thanks to everyone at Milwaukee Public Schools and the entire community who helped give these students the confidence to compete and succeed. And thank you for watching and showing young people in our city just how much you care. Have a great rest of your day.